This is a, an example of some of the drive mechanisms that the, the students build for, for robotics. And you can see sort of a different design over here. And this is a really weird design. It's kind of built like the Martian rover uh, over here. And then there's a tracked vehicle. This is actually where it was remarkably stable. And this is kind of a weird kind of little design that steers. You can't, yeah, I can't turn it because it's a servo motor and well, actually doesn't turn it. It needs to be able to turn by, be turned by the motor. And you can see all sorts of different designs that the students choose. So I don't restrict what design they use. And, uh, but uh, you know, then this is what's known as the mobile platform because the course I teach is called mobile robotics. That means that the robots are intended to move. What's missing from there is the brains. By the way, this stuff is part of a circuits course, which is, which is unrelated. But this is the brains. This is the part that's missing from those robots. And I'm not sure how you can see this as a mess of wires. But that's because over here, we control different kinds of motors. This is a servo motor that you would see on a, a remote, your remote control vehicles, right? But there's one. There's a, the regular DC motors, the little Lego motors. And you get switches, and we got lights, and we have photo cells, and little reflecto opto sensors, and microphones, and bend sensors, and these are what's called the GP2 DO2, which is capable of seeing things at about a distance like this. Here's sonar, which is actually uh, like a bat, you know, sort of it just pings out a sound and then waits for the thing to come back. This is actually what's known as a pyroelectric sensor. It's actually tuned to, to find uh, body heat, your body heat, so it can actually determine whether there's somebody in the room. All sorts of different sensors that, uh, that we use. And a lot of them work in the infrared. Anybody know what infrared is? Just start this down. Okay. So here's a. You want, you want the lights on or off? Let's try with the lights off. Okay, this is a. I talked about robotics and circuit design. So let's just show you. Like I said, we start with the. We start by being able to uh, build a platform in order to carry this. The brains over here. So they have to first build something that moves. And here's an example, and they can show that you know that the same platform can either turn around or move straight and, and so forth. And then and then what happens is I mean this is kind of a standard, you can see a variation over there, and then you get occasional really uberly creative students who can build stuff like that. Now it seems silly, so why would you want to do that? You can see right over there there was tiny little wheels. Those tiny little wheels, he built this device just to do this task. The task was to do a figure eight around the around the, uh, the phone books. The idea was to go around and go, and go this way. So he thought, well, what perfect is perfect if I only go 90 degrees. I can't inadvertently go around in different directions. So he built it so that whenever he needed to change directions, it would lift itself up and use a different set of motors to drive it in a different direction. So it's 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 pretty cool. Right? So this is pretty cool. Anyway, uh, and, and so he spent some time sort of designing. So this is how we start. Okay, we the first thing they do is they build a platform. Then they they make it do particular tasks in order to to uh, you know know exactly how to control their robots. And then here you can see here's a, a different task altogether. It's going to follow the line, and there's a big bright light over here. And when it sees that bright light, it has to look somewhere in here is a can. And uh, this is a different trial. Before I had it over there, and another trial I had over there. Anyway, it looks around and is looking for the can. I'm not sure you can see the servo moving around. And then it has to shoot the can. I think it shoots it right about there. Uh, and then, so it shoots it. And then it actually has to ram the can. <laughs> So it rams the can, and then there's a clapping that says, okay, you're done with the can. So it has to listen for a clap. Then it has to look around for a light source. Remember that light that we saw over here? And then it has to... You cut short a bit. It's done here. Okay. So and then it just parts itself. I got some more stuff, but that'll move.